I made my shapes very round and what I began to realize when the sun was moving on a shape like this, the highlight on the shape began to walk on the sculpture. When you took a photograph every hour later, you noticed that the light was different. Hans van de Bovenkamp was born in the Netherlands in 1938. In 1957, he and his family emigrated to Ontario, Canada, and soon Hans enrolled at the University of Michigan, studying architecture and sculpture. As a young artist, Hans came to New York to the East Village 10th Street art scene in the early 1960s. Hans found early success making fountains. In 1969, he rented a studio in East Hampton following the well-paved path of Montauk Highway to Long Island's East End, a powerful magnet to so many contemporary artists. Profoundly inspired by abstract expressionist sculptor David Smith, Hans focused on monumental scaled sculptures whose power was much more than simply a function of their size. Their graceful, wonderfully appealing organic shapes have fluidity, rivers of metal, in a variety of materials, cut steel, stainless steel, corten steel, or bronze in different patinations. The artist has called his work Dancing Geometry. You will see his sculpture in many spots near his seven and a half acre home and studio in Sagaponic, Long Island, where he's also been working over the last several years on a series of paintings. Exuberant, colorful, and an entrance for him to a new artistic realm. You can also see his sculpture around the globe, from Nebraska to the Netherlands to Taiwan, at museums such as the Grounds for Sculpture in New Jersey, or the Butler Institute in Ohio, and university, corporate, municipal, and private collections everywhere. In 2019, the Long Island Museum invited Hans to share his work with our audience, and three sculptures were transported and installed here through the gracious assistance of Budco Enterprises. The sculptures will remain in Stony Brook through 2021. From architecture, which I studied, I studied and learned scale. Scale is very important, and they use now the word sighting to sight the sculpture. I love at the museum how the three sculptures are placed. They only each have their own little territory, their own little garden. So you can look at each piece individually and see. One was early work in steel, plate, and cutouts, very different from volumetric. Then I did the stainless steel because I could afford it. And stainless steel is much better in transportation and moving it around the world because it is very strong. And oh, by the way, this curve makes it very strong compared to a flat piece of metal. Look at a car, you know, these curves make it, because it's very thin metal, most of it is paint. And then the third sculpture, Corten, I love the color of Corten, and it was a very industrial material they made. I like to love the brown color because that was more closer to nature, to earth. Helping Hans is Kevin Miller, an assistant to the sculptor for now more than 20 years. Their working relationship is an intuitive one and essential to the operation's success. He is truly an assistant in the sense that I'm not competing with his creative vision. And he has creative vision. He, you know, we always discuss, it. shall we do it this way? Shall we do it that way? What do you think and which material shall we use? And, we have a dialogue between the pros and cons. And with Kevin, I can give a little doodle and he said, I got it, I know what you need. You know, after 20 years, he, he's actually better fabricated than I am at this point. Well, it kept creeping up and things kept getting better and better. And I kept selling my work and I, all these famous people that I read about, I've shown now with all of them, which is beyond my wildest dreams and I keep on living. And here I am at 82. Hans continues his work daily, 
anticipating new projects and staying present in the moment, creating inside his beautiful studio. Still, after a career going on six decades, he's gained perspective on the journey. And when I come back after five or 10 or 20 years to a sculpture, I said, did I do that? Uh, I must have been out of body experience making that. But when I did it, it was a hundred percent body experience, you know, like physically. Yeah. And now when I look at it, I said, my gosh, and I'm beginning to understand that all my work is connected.